Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, today is Tuesday, and we are a mere 18 hours, I believe, before Yom Kippur starts over in Israel. Um, we've seen lower volumes. We've seen um, the market basically try to open positive on, on better than expected inflation numbers, but um, sellers basically took over and said, nope. Um, you know, there was a little bit of buying at the end or short covering at the end, but um, I, I don't think we're, I don't, I don't think we're done. I think we see, we continue to see um, selling, um, whether it be a lot or, um, you know, smaller volumes is, we'll, we'll see that tomorrow. Um, I think the only silver lining or what to look forward to is, the end of Yom Kippur, um, which sometime Thursday afternoon uh, into Friday, and maybe that gives you a, an opportunity to, to go long. Um, but for now, um, I think um, I think we continue to short. Um, I think Alan's kind of in the same boat. Um, I think he's got a majority of shorts. I think he might have one or two longs. Um, but Alan, um, how did you do today? What did you play? Oh, everything was short. My big ones were uh, Google, Goldman Sachs, Visa, American Express, uh, MU. Um, Goldman Sachs, I did the best on. Uh, actually, the one that was really it did really well on and made a lot of money on was Raytheon. As uh, strange as that was, he used the the five minute app. Uh, five minute apps can be available. I saw that we were um, actually looking pretty good at the end of the day, still kind of staying down. So I, I kept it overnight and I went down $1.60, $1.40, something like that. Had a uh, thousand shares on it. So uh, that was a really good one for me. Uh, so what happens with Yom Kippur, which is really interesting, it's different than Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. And, and the fact is, is that you can still do some work during that time period, but it's really everything's pushing right into Yom Kippur. That's the Day of Atonement. Basically, that's if you're going to go ahead and make it or not. So how it works is in Israel, it's going to start in about 18 hours, which it'll be 11 o'clock our time. You should see the European markets down. They're not affected as, as much by it. Uh, and China markets in Hong Kong and Nikkei is not affected at all, usually, because um, there's not much of a Jewish influence there. So going into the Yom Kippur, the thing that's interesting, you got to understand this whole concept. They, Jewish people, cannot trade at all. So that means starting Wednesday at sunset. So that's why they liquidating the positions and there's no buy-in on Wednesday. They can, it's a 25 hour holiday. So there is no buy-in on Thursday whatsoever. Now what's interesting about it, they can't even buy calls the next day. So I like to get in about three, 3.30. They usually jump in pre-market and they usually uh, jump in Friday morning to go ahead and, and get the bargains. And remember, we're over a thousand points down on the Jewish high holidays. This has happened almost every year that I can remember, and it continued to happen this year. Question is, are we going to have a big drop? We, we, this was our biggest drop today. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but we were down over 300 points. Now, if you take the 150 points, we're up. That's a 450 point drop uh, from the highs today. So I'm sticking with the shorts. Never be all in. That's why I got some calls. If we go ahead and go up tomorrow, I should go ahead and, 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 and break even. So don't be an idiot and be all in. Hedge your bets. Make sure you don't go crazy. But if we drop tomorrow like we should, I'm going to do very, very well. I'd like to go ahead and introduce to you Dennis. Dennis is one of the most brilliant traders that I've run across. He's very, very good with the charts. Every time I, I hear him talk, I learn something new. And I'm just so happy to have him on the team. 
so uh, if you could go ahead and, and introduce uh, Dennis there, Brian. Right, yeah. You mentioned Dennis Prost, who uh, is an, an, an incredible addition to our, our podcast. And um, Dennis and I will be talking Thursday uh, to get a little bit more in-depth look at the market um, and um, different areas. Uh, but Dennis is actually a professional trader. Um, he trades for other individuals. He's been doing it for over 30 years. Um, he is a certified financial planner and a registered fiduciary. And for those of you that aren't familiar with that, um, a registered fiduciary basically means that he has a legal obligation to look, to look out for your best interest or for his client's best interest. So for those of you looking for an advisor, um, those of you that are interested in someone managing your money, um, this is a great opportunity to reach out to Dennis because like I said, he legally has to look out for your best interest. Um, Dennis has some rules on how he trades. Um, and Dennis um, is a little bit lo more longer term, more of a longer term trader than um, Alan and I, whereas Alan and I are in and out during the day. Um, Dennis will hold positions um, overnight, several days. Um, and he is well diversified in both long and short and um, looks more at um, the dollar, commodities, interest rates, those sort of things. He's, he kind of takes a macro view um, of the market. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Dennis and hopefully I can get to share his screen um, so that he can kind of review some of his charts and, and what he looks for when he enters and exits trades. So Dennis, there you go. Can you see my screen? I yes. can. Yeah, we can. Okay. One of the things is, first of all, getting a trade right is looking at the U.S. dollar. And um, if I can pull that up. Where are you? U.S. dollar right here. And if you look at a daily chart on the dollar, it's still pretty bullish. It's just under the 20 day moving average. I don't know if you can see that. And it's above the four day moving average and the not quite the eight day there. But the dollar, you know, once that goes up, you can plan on interest rates or yields actually going up and gold going down. You know, if you figure out that piece of the puzzle, it's really easy to trade the markets. So on a daily chart, I'll pull up a, you know, position here on SPY, if you want to do that. That's the last one on here, how about that? <laughs> I like to use the interday charts here, you know, a 30 and a 60 day, 60 minute chart. And if you're taking notes, um, do you see this red line here? That is my 34 day moving average. And then I also have in the blue, my eight day moving average. In order on a 30 minute chart to go long this position, I'd like to see the eight day cross the 34. So when the blue crosses the red, then we can get back in. Um, if you're more aggressive, you can use the four day moving average, which is the white one. So, you know, I have four indicators I use. And if we meet three out of four, then we go long in the market. So number one, you got the four day crossing the eight. And then number two, you have the eight, which is blue crosses the 34 day moving average. Number three that I have is a parabolic SARS. And I set this up here, parabolic SARS to give you another indication to be long or short, is the crosses on top. It's a common indicator, it's free, and you can use that on your chart, just parabolic SARS. Yeah, and the I last one, go I ahead. I was gonna say, and the, not to, sorry to interrupt, but I think what, on Thursday, what we're gonna do is, Dennis is gonna walk me through setting these up on Thinkorswim. Um, basically take this chart in TradeStation 
And I'm going to actually um, get my thinkorswim chart to look like his um, to, for you guys that would like to trade on a longer time frame. So look forward to that. So sorry, Dennis, okay. number four. And number four is using a MACD moving average, Com convergence divergence. And you can see here on the daily chart, the bottom chart we use is the MACD, if I can move you guys here. We use a MACD with an eight and 17. So the bottom graph shows the blue line being the eight day average, and then the red line is your 17. That's more aggressive than what the standard is, which I think is 12 and 26. So it gives you all the signs of why you shouldn't be in the market on a daily chart here, if you look at it, the four day cross the eight. And then um, your parabolic SARS triggered about three days ago, the purple crosses. And then of course your Mac geek um, crossed over about September 7th, telling you it's time to get out. So, you know, you get three out of four indicators telling you get out. So <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, right. Or go short uh, or continue short, mm -hmm. so. Okay. The other option we like to use with a lot of people is going market neutrality, which is 50% short, 50% long. Yeah, and then move in and out of those depending on, mm -hmm. on how far the market has moved. So Because you can't day trade a client's annuity or something like that. It's too hard to do. So you go to okay. a market neutrality. It's better not to you have, make nothing than to lose money. Right, yeah. And that's, you know, that's another thing with, um, you know, Dennis um, is very, or is quite risk adverse. Um, you know, it's better to make a little bit, better to make singles um, rather, than, rather than to swing for the home run and, and strike out sort of thing. So, you know, whereas these daily interday positions that um, the five minute chart and the five minute app are, are getting you getting you into our um, have a little bit more risk associated with them. Um, whereas Dennis can hold positions um, and let them play out. So well thank you, Dennis. Um, like I said, you know, Dennis and I are going to sit down Thursday, um, have a podcast to basically look a little bit more in depth in these indicators and kind of go through um, different market areas and see what um, Dennis's opinion on, on those are. So um, look forward to that. Um, so sounds good. Alan, um, have a very good Yom Kippur. Take thank it you, easy. Thank you. Um, you got 25 hours. You're going to, are you going to fast for 25 hours? That's, that's the game plan. Yeah. Okay, good luck with that. So I will um, I will see everybody on Thursday then. Um, bye Very everyone. good. Excellent. Well, have a good evening. Okay. All right, we'll see you, Alan. Bye. Okay. Yep. Bye now.